This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. The lesson I'm on is Changing Variables with B, Puzzle 6. Challenge Puzzle. Are lessons designed to stretch your brain? Just do the best you can. Oh, I will. I'm ready. We're so ready. All right. Oh, we're only supposed to use 29 blocks. Wow, that is a lot of blocks. Okay. So, stairs. Is this... Oh, they're doing the same thing. Notice 3, 2, 1... So we're going to want to use, well, I think a variable again. Hmm. This is tricky. All right. So let's start off by setting gather. But it should start at 3, except the distance changes here. Oh, boys. All right. So we would want to move one, then move two, then move th three, and then move three. Okay. But we want to collect when we move one, three, and then we want to collect when we move two, two, but we want to collect one when we move Three. Oh my goodness. Okay, so let's start with gather being um, one, I guess. And I'm going to rename it to well, is it really gather? It's gather and move. So I'm just going to call it move. Huh. All right. My variable's name is move. And then I was going to set it equal to one to start. We're going to see what we can do with one. Uh, repeat like always. Okay. And one line, two lines. I'm not really sure how much yet. So I'll say two and we'll figure that out later. And now... I know I'm going to want to have a function because this is going to be a repetitive action, right? Over, turn, down, over, turn, down. So function. Uh, <laughs> not move. I named my variable move. Uh, collect. Collect all. Sure because I'm collecting everything on the path. All right, now, what do I want to do? Well, this is similar to the ones we have done throughout this course, so I need a loop for, and what we were doing before was using our variable here. My variable is move, so collect all, repeat, move, which makes sense, because it's a one right now, so I want to move forward, and then what do I need? Well, then I need to collect three. Hmm. Not sure with how many blocks we got here. I'm going to try to use... Okay, I'm not sure what we can do with this many blocks. Let's say... Uh, I'll use gather for this. And this might be wrong. <laughs> so, and we can set it to 3 right now. And then... Oh, what? No, no, no. Oh, we're only allowed to have one variable? Oh, tricky. Okay, so we got to do with what we have. Okay, so we need another loop. How many loop? And we're going to wall path at... No, 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 no. Repeat how many times? Well, I want to repeat it gather times. But we need this to change is the problem. So right now, gather is equal to 1. Gather plus 2. But then when I'm over here, gather plus 2 would be 4. What if... Hmm, So 
So what can I do to make this be 3? I can add 2 to it, but then when I get over here and I add 1 to gather inside of here, gather will be 2 plus 2 is 4, and that won't work. How else can I make 1 into 3? I can take... What about... Four or two plus no that will do the oh yeah yeah what about four minus gather because then it will be three here and then when we add one to gather here this might work function collect all because remember each time like we did in the previous parts of this lesson and you really need to go back and do those if you haven't because this is going to be scary without that knowledge we're each time we run we're going to change gather by one i think so gather will be set to be equal to gather plus one so that means hey grab the old gather val variable and add one to it now the new gather is equal to well this would at first be one plus one so now gather equals two Zoop, collect all again now gather equals three Okay, it just adds one to the whatever it used to equal. It tells the computer, hey, computer, we're going to give gather a new value. Whatever it used to equal, add one to that. So that means when it runs for the second time, and we're down here, gather will actually be equal to 2 because we added 1 to it. And 4 minus 2 is 2, so that will work for this number and that number. And gather will be equal to 2, so that will also work here. And then... We'll add 1 to it, and gather will be equal to 3, so we can actually move 3. But then three, 4 minus 3 is 1, and so we'll gather that one time. So we can do the reverse then. We can still use gather, and we can use it not only to move, but to also collect. So we can actually collect everything, I think, within the blocks. This makes sense. Let's give it a shot. Okay, then what do we want to do? At that point, the flower is always first, so get nectar. After we get the nectar, we're going to want to, well, turn right, because we haven't yet. We could also, yeah, okay. Yep, that sounds good. And then, once we turn right, what do we want to do? We want to move forward, but this changes each time. So we're going to loop, repeat, and then, again, for movement, since it changes, and it's inversely, it's the opposite value, I guess, kind of the opposite, of what um, the amount we need to gather is, we're going to use this math and 4 minus gather. Oops, I got rid of the wrong one. And then let me go. Because 4 minus gather should actually work. Oh, this is so tricky. And then what do we want to do with that? We're going to move... Wait a minute. No. Not for movement. Okay. For movement, we're always going to move forward the amount that gather is equal to. Just like we did up here. Whew. Okay, so movement, variable, gather, action, move forward. Now, once I move forward, I want to get the honey. And the honey is 3. Since we start at 1, that works. And the honey is 3. So 4 minus 1 is 3. Okay make honey. And then once I make the honey, what do I want to do? Well, I'm at the bottom of these steps. I'm going to want to turn left, I think. All right, let's see. All right, that's looking good so far. I don't move enough. I want to walk through this, though, because this is crazy complicated. Okay, so 
And remember, this is gather plus one gather. All right, what this does, I'm going to hit step. The first thing, we make this variable called gather and set it to one. We then hit our repeat. And so I'm going to run all of this, right, twice. Okay, so I collect all. Boom. I repeat gather times. What's gather equal to? One. So I move forward one. And then gather up. I've already done that. Drop below. I then repeat 4 minus gather. What's gather equal to? 1. 4 minus 1 is 3. So then I get nectar 1, 2, 3 times. Now I drop below and turn right. Then I repeat gather. How many, what's gather equal to? 1 time. So zoop, 1 time I move forward. Now I drop below. And now I'm going to make honey how many times? Well, 4 minus gather, which will be 3. Then I turn left, I hit the bottom of this, and then I make gather equal gather plus 1. Right? So now, what was gather used to be equal to? Oh, well, 1. This isn't setting gather to anything new. Notice, because I don't say gather equals 4 minus gather. So this is set gather to, that creates a new value for gather. And what it does is say, what's gather is old value? It was one and then plus, plus one. So now gather is equal to two, hit the bottom of this, go back around, collect all. Okay, so now we run collect all and gather is two. So we should move forward two times, twice, and then And then we should turn, collect, collect, and then move forward how many times? 4 minus 2 minus gather, our new value is 2, is 2. And then turn right. Oh, well, now we're getting nectar two times. And now turning right. And now we're done. So let's do this three times. And on the third time through, we'll add one to gather, go through, repeat three times move forward so or repeat gather times and then gather is now equal to what it would be equal to three on that final one right so four minus three is one let's give this a shot yikes that was complicated but we did it is that within their line limit in 29 bucks? Yes. Awesome. Let's keep going.